low. Oh boy. I'm not in Kansas anymore. What's up, man? Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. As y'all can tell, we are not in Kansas anymore. And don't be getting in my secret stash right there, bub. <laughs> you eating some chips, buddy? Is that what wrong? You're hungry? Eat some chips, buddy. Definitely not in Kansas anymore. We are in Kauai, Hawaii. And I figured I'd start the uh, video off here. We're on the North Shore of Hawaii and uh, unreal. It's breathtaking. I don't know how to describe it. Just check it out real quick for yourself. I'll pan around and show you uh, the big bay that we're in. And this is beautiful. It's supposed to be one, I, I can understand why it's supposed to be one of the best beaches uh, and shorelines in all of Kauai. Uh, Kauai is a small island uh, on the what it'd be the west northwest end of the chain of of islands so uh, amazing check it out so this is the scenery this is uh, the pier that goes out and as you can tell a lot of people walk out there and then they go all the way out to the end and you can kind of cliff dive and jump off the side of it I'm thinking we need to do that here in just a little bit <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that actually mean? I don't know, like surfer, like... Surfer, like, hang ten? Maybe, or like... Like, Aloha? hey! Aloha? Like, Aloha! I you know, like, thumbs every, up at home? Everybody does. Like, I know, we're like, super cheesy. <laughs> we want to, like, <laughs> give somebody the pound dog. There's so much more, like, swag and cool here. They're just like... Yeah, there's, like, no really peace. No. It's this. Like, yeah. everybody will give you this. Yeah, on the end of this video, you can't go, pee hee. It's You're crazy to think that Mahalo. we're... We're, it's crazy to think that we're in the U.S. still. It is. Right? But it's also like, I believe it because everyone here is so just nice. Everything's clean and beautiful and pristine and it's amazing. Unreal. Yeah. Truly unreal here. I could sit here all day. I'm fitting to go in the, uh, into the old water though. I want to jump off the pier, Mom. Want to jump off the pier? It seems like it's a thing to jump off the pier. Yeah, it looks cool. We need to, we should have. Look at that backdrop. Did you show them that view? Yeah, I already showed them. We should have rented a surfboard. Yeah, this paddle board. Get out and paddle with the kids on the front. Yep. Be fun. I don't really know where I'm going with this video, but I wanted to open it here. We might do a catch, clean, cook. We might do some spear fishing. Or we might, we, go shop the local we might go shop the local market. fish market and grab something and go cook it at home. Something crazy. Don't know what we're getting into. We're just chilling as a family. This is our big vacation for the summer. And uh, I'm very sunburned. Very, 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 very sunburned. That's why I'm chilling underneath the umbrella for a little while. This is my, what, third day, second full day going on being sunburned. And it has hurt. We all got sunburned the first day we were here. Yeah, I applied sunscreen though and still got it. Yeah. I mean, it's all over. It I is, uh, if you come to Hawaii anywhere, Beware the sun. I, I usually don't burn bad, but it happened. Are you gonna jump off with me? I'm not. Huh? You are? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you just said you weren't. I wanna do it. We're only here once. We may never be back here again. Gonna enjoy it. You ready, buddy? Come on, bub. That's deep. That is deep, isn't it? I wonder how deep it is. Ready? I gotta do it. The dad has to do it. Okay. Did it. How was it? Is it good, Daddy? Harper. Crazy, but why don't you do it? Was it fun? That hurts your feet. That ladder sucks. Uh oh. We were out in Gateway a little bit here yesterday. Baba! As of right now, it's definitely not looking very good. Okay. What are you doing, man? We're gonna check it out. Huh? Well, we are on. 
on a tour, an awesome tour at that. Are you eating cinnamon rolls still? Sister. Where are we at, babe? Uh, the Nepali coast. Nepali coast. Check this out. These cliffs, he said these cliffs are 4,000 feet. Unreal. And it only gets steeper the farther we go. Look at this. Look, that's a waterfall. That's We're definitely not in Kansas anymore. Oh, look at that. That's a cave. Crazy. 4,000 feet right in front of you. It's a lot closer than it looks on this camera. Uh, he then paid a helicopter pilot a bunch of money to home hover over this sea cave. That helicopter pilot then dumped out seven bags of rose petals in the back of this sea cave and then they got married. Okay, so uh, open sea cave right now that, we can, that we're looking at. Hold on, sit down, buddy. Holy smokes, this is unreal. Now, if you had a very small wow. boat, you can actually go inside this sea cave and or a kayak. You can actually go in the back. Oh, can I get in? Can I get in? Can I get in? Did you clean it off first? Yeah. Oh, can I get in? Here we go. Oh, Daddy, go. Go, go, Daddy, go. Oh, 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 Daddy, go. Go, sis. Don't be scared. Hey, ready? Ready? Go, sis. Yeah, girl. She's getting it now. Good there you job, go. Babe. Here, heart. Best. She's crying. Grab that. Grab that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Bubba, you don't like it? No. Why? I like it. What's wrong? We're definitely not in Kansas, sorry, Mom. Yeah, Look at this. Very well. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Oh yeah. I want to do a little bit circle. You gotta blow it out. Oh god, that is amazing. That's cool. I can't see it. I breathe in water. Don't bring a thick Kansas guy here. Oh. Ah. Hi, sis. Oh. You look comfy. Oh. Look at the view. <sighs> Bodie, he is not digging it. We're going to have to take him. Look, Bubby, it's okay. Come with Daddy. Come here. I'll hold you. That is so cool. I can't do it. I get like, oh, no, I, I get panicky you. and I can't do it. Bring that underwater with you. I can't keep my face on the water. No, you just got to breathe out of your mouth. That's what I, you have to that's keep what telling I'm doing. yourself. I can't do it. I panicked. Just keep telling yourself, <laughs> breathe out of the water. <laughs> have you had enough? Really? <laughs> You're kind of over it? Yeah. It's pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. You kind of over it? <laughs> I can't breathe under the water. I can't do it. I cannot breathe. I can't do it. 
and then that, and like, and water would get in, they like, call oh. Yeah, I can't, I can't like, maintain, I panic. Like I put my head under there yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> I'm yeah. good until I put my head under the water and I start panicking. <laughs> what are you, oh yeah, you see the big excavator? Yep. Where are we at, bub? Come here, where are you going? Everybody leaving me already. Well, we're, we're here. We're at Glass Beach today. Yeah, we're at Glass Beach. We're gonna check it out. It seems Glass big. Beach, one of our uh, crew guides uh, on the boat yesterday, this is the next day. Uh, he said we had to come here and check this place out. It's called Glass Beach, and he said the sand is all kinds of different colors because... Is it? Yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff. Lots of glass. So this big... I would assume that this big company back here... What did he say? They throw... They, they dumped, like, tons of glass bottles here along, long, long, long. Yeah, like, off of these cliffs. And, like, over time, they have ground up in the sand safe to walk on with no shoes i guess he said you might find some glass but you're not allowed to take it yeah. he said any glass out here it's like uh sacred and they don't want you to take it look how it is crazy is it? yeah look how dark this is what that's crazy yeah oh that feels so good can you show them this little pool right here that yeah this little pool that we're looking at right here when it it's clear it's really cool there's so many colors down here completely clear. yeah completely just clear so many colors down in there lots of different glass look at this one glass glass but it's all like all the edges are rounded none of it's sharp at all it's like safe to walk on that one's the sharpest one I've seen Huh. All right, hey, yo, not gonna lie, that was a good move putting on the old Jerusalem cruisers. You're right. Yeah. Because every time I step, there's like something pokey, and the thought of it all being glass. I mean, even this, yeah. straight up glass. It's straight up glass. Kind of weird me out. I'm like, ee, ooh, ah, <laughs> ee, ooh. It's ee. neat though. Ow. Isn't it weird, Harper? Feel weird on your feet? Yeah. Yeah, it's Thank really coarse. You. What it's is like it? Warped metal or something. Isn't warped it? metal, mama. Isn't it? Yeah. Not to clean it. I mean, kind of dangerous. <laughs> we looked not, over. I... Look at this. Holy cow, a seal. A sea lion. He's sleeping. Uh oh. Look, he's opening his eyes. I don't want to get too close to him. I don't know how how dangerous they are. He's definitely sleeping. Wow, that's wild. Look at him, he's gonna get wet. Oh, he's got a U.S. What's on the side of him? He's, just, he's like branded. Yeah. It says U.S. on the side of his belly. What in the world? Look at him, he's just chilling. He's got that uh, branding on the side of him, U.S. He's chilling. He's sleeping. He's definitely not dead, okay? At first when I seen him, I thought he was gonna be dead. But he's definitely chilling, sunbathing. I don't know, he could be dying. Do you think, uh... uh no, it says they come up here and nap, and normally they rope it off. Oh, they come up here and nap, and normally they rope it off? So that they don't come up here, like, where people are. Ah. But they don't have the finger off. Ah, so... Yeah, they're usually up here. Super common. This is our first time seeing one. He's cool though. So we just talked to a lady. Repeat yeah. everything she just told us. So this is a monk seal. They're earless. They're critically endangered. There's only 1,400 of them in the world and 1,100 of them are here on the islands. She Wild. said that she has seen them in every beach that she goes to. This is our first time seeing them, but Typically, you're not allowed to touch them or bother them or anything. Um, but she their said, branding on them is yeah, that branding, natural. it's a natural she deal. Said, even if you Google it and look it up, she said it can look like a branding or a marking. Yeah. But it's, I don't, that's wild to me, honestly. You think? That is wild, yeah. That to see, so to see an animal that endangered right in front of you is pretty yeah. cool. In the wild, not at a zoo. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? It's a natural and he's occurrence. and she said that they're extremely nice. Uh, typically, if a lifeguard was here, typically uh, she said if a lifeguard was here, they'd have him barricaded around so they can sleep because he's just napping, sleeping. She said, but I was like, so they're endangered. You can't touch them. She was like, but even if somebody might ha have or a child, she thinks that they're nice enough that they don't, that they're not vicious at all. They're Pepper extremely can't. nice. They're like the local beach dog. But having only 1,100 of them here in Hawaii and 1,400 in the world, it's pretty special to see one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, as you can tell, we're back home. Oh, and thank goodness. It feels so good to be back in Kansas, back at the lodge. Uh, we've been back for, what, three days now, and I've been working my butt off on the lodge, getting a lot of stuff done. Uh, lots of lodge videos to come, pigeon trapping, uh, pigeon hunting, and magnet fishing. Ooh, there's a big snake, as well as a lot of snakes. Snake videos. But anyways, I want to hit on one, actually two big things. First off, the earless monk seal. We did not touch that thing. Uh, didn't even get within... I don't know, 10 foot probably. The GoPro kind of made it look different. Uh, I guess the rule of thumb is 50 foot, what I read. Uh, I don't know if that's actually a law or anything. I think it's just a rule of thumb, but you cannot touch monk seals. And I wouldn't recommend it anyways because they're wild animals and you just don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, I wanted to clarify that so everybody understood that we did not pet it. We did not get within uh, you know arms distance not even close to that so just a rule of thumb uh, number two I'm not made for the ocean <laughs> and I'm not trying to be funny about it before I went uh, I was talking to a local I was like hey uh, can you take me spear fishing and he was like yeah 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 well some things fell through and I couldn't get back a hold of them when I was down there regardless um, long story short I'm glad I didn't go Actually, I take that back. I wish I would have went because I feel like I didn't have a fighting chance uh, with being able to snorkel correctly. And what I mean, I jumped off a boat. That was my first time ever trying to snorkel in the ocean whatsoever. And I just hopped off a boat and thought that I was going to be able to do it. And uh, I feel like snorkeling in the ocean, not on the beach, not where you can touch, you know, 20 foot of water or more, uh, 10 foot of water or more. Takes a little bit of practice and I didn't get that. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I really want to go back and try it uh, for surely. I, I, don't, I don't think I got like the honest, the honest effort. So uh, other than that though, I can tell you the ocean is scary to me. I, I, I am from the middle of the United States here in Kansas and I'm, I, everything about me, my comfort levels, I do some crazy stuff. We go hunting and, and do some crazy things. But water, man, whoa, it's not about sharks and all that. That much water. The ocean's crazy. And, it, and I just feel like uh, I wanted to put a little public service announcement. If you are not used to the ocean uh, like me and from Kansas, maybe, you know, I, I'm not even like a huge lake goer. Take your time. When we were coming back, uh, there was two people that actually got swept away in the current, not on our excursion, but around the same coast that we were on. Yes, uh, two people got swept away in the current and they were, that's what that uh, helicopter was, was Life Watch. There was a bunch of helicopters out looking for them. So, public service announcement, if you are not used to the ocean, do not uh, just go to some random beach and just go out. Uh, the current around Kauai not Hawaii in general, but Kauai, what I know and what I was told uh, by the professional crew members on that ship is there are places with insane currents. So don't just go rent yourself snorkel gear and go by yourself. You can, you can die. And so just want people to know that. Kauai is a beautiful place. Hawaii is a beautiful place and I recommend it 110%. It's the best utmost best uh vacation that i've ever had in my life we were there for 10 days and i am going back and i'm gonna try spear fishing but be careful out there i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video we enjoyed the trip thank you all for being here i'm gonna get after it i gotta get to working on the lodge and a bunch of stuff 
I, just more videos for y'all, that's all. But subscribe if you haven't. I wanna tell you guys, uh, pretty much today and tomorrow is the last day that you can go get uh, signed up and join. What are you doing, chicken? join the podcast i will link at the top of the description uh when you join the podcast you have a chance of winning the alaska hunt we are drawing for the alaska hunt the two winners this week so go join the podcast before it's too late to get entered to win the alaska hunt uh but my blabbing's over subscribe if you haven't i know i already said that thank you all for being here we'll see you all on the next one i've been getting laid back baby you should know that i don't need your criticism. Pessimism.